you dog. Hey everybody, so Halloween is almost upon us now and I just wanted to put a video up for you guys on maybe some useful things having to do with pumpkins and dogs. So I'm sure that a lot of us have been very busy these past two days or this weekend um, carving our pumpkins. So I got my, what's his name here, the, the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas um, all carved up. but. I definitely think that there's a lot of useful things um, during pumpkin carving that we can use for our dogs. So I'm going to go over right now two different treats. One's going to be a high calorie option, one's going to be a low calorie option, both really great for your dogs and use pumpkin. And you can actually use just the insides of the pumpkin that you carved. So let's get started with that. Okay, so the first kind of treat that I'm going to show you guys is actually something really simple. Um, you can use pumpkin seeds as treats for your dog. So right here I've got a bag that's been sitting overnight. You just take the pumpkin seeds out of the pumpkin, keep the kind of gooey, icky uh, pumpkin guts on them um, that they come out with, and it's just going to add a little bit of flavor to the, to the seeds for your dog. And then you add just a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil so that they can roast. And then you also just add a half of a tablespoonful of peanut butter. You put it all in this bag, kind of mush it all around so that all of the seeds are coated and let it sit overnight. And now we're actually gonna just roast them and give it a try. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to empty out our pumpkin seeds onto a, a dish that is lined with this tin foil. And we're just going to spread them out here so that they can all get the equal amount of heat. So now what we can do is put this in the oven. It can go in the oven at around um, 100 degrees Celsius, so you can take a look at what that is in Fahrenheit if you need to. A quick Google search will help you with that. It's hard to tell if I'm in focus because I'm at my kitchen table, <laughs> but I'm just gonna let you guys know some of the really great things inside of pumpkin seeds. So you've got your amino acids, your fiber, your iron, your copper, your magnesium, phosphorus, all sorts of minerals that are really, really great. Um, you also have vitamins A, B, tons of the different vitamin Bs. Um, you've got vitamin E, you've got uh, vitamin C, you've got vitamin K, crazy amounts of vitamins in them as well. Another really, really interesting thing is that pumpkin seeds contain an amino acid that actually acts on a variety of different dog parasites. So it, it causes kind of a paralytic effect in some parasites. Um, not necessarily killing the parasites, but it helps with expelling parasites out of the digestive tract. So that's a, an interesting thing, another added bonus that pumpkin seeds can give us. So and there is a study that has shown that anything above 20 minutes of roasting does affect the fatty acid content of seeds. So what we're gonna do is these seeds are gonna go into the oven for about eight minutes, and then I'm gonna pull them out, and I'm just going to kind of mix them up again, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven again for another eight minutes. That's a total of 16 minutes, so none of the fatty acids should be um, affected at all during the process of roasting. So these are the pumpkin seeds right out of the oven. So I'm going to rinse them off, get all of the kind of ooey gooey, you know, sticky stuff off of them, and then come back once that's done. So we're gonna just put all of that on our clean dish cloth, dish towel, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to roll them around and just dry them off a little bit and then they should be ready to eat. So there's the little girl. Here's our pumpkin seeds. Right here, I got three of them. Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. And we're just gonna see if this little girl here, focus, likes these pumpkin seeds. What do you think? Would you like it? Would you give me a handshake for it? Well, apparently yes. Okay, Let's see if you like it. Oh, are they good? You like it? Oh, I think that's a winner. Pumpkin seed option is our low calorie option. Now we're gonna go over something that's a little bit more kind of an indulgence for your dog. Uh, probably around 20 calories per treat, which is kind of high, but you can give you know one treat a day and be totally fine. Um, and this actually includes the um, pumpkin pieces that you would get out of your 
your carved pumpkin. So save your, your pieces and we're gonna make a really great treat, kind of a cooked treat for your dog. For the second treat, I've got all of the things that we need right here. You need about a quarter of a cup of peanut butter, which is right here. Um, we've got our pumpkin pieces right here and about a cup of um, shredded, I don't know what you would call it, but shredded oats. Like oats that you process in a blender. There you go. Um, so that's that. What you're gonna wanna do with this pumpkin is you need about three quarters of a cup of it. So I just use my uh, magic bullet and I just added in the chunks of this pumpkin and you're gonna need to kind of add some water as you go and process it, but this should be the consistency right here. It's like a puree, like baby food kind of. So you need about three quarters of a cup of that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start adding in all of our ingredients right here. So we've got our oats right here. I'm gonna add that in. I would recommend adding your oats in first because if you add in the pumpkin, it might get a bit too watery. So you can kind of um, eyeball it and see how dense you want your treats to be. Let's add in the peanut butter. Looks so good. Let's face it, I, I've never met a dog that's ever not liked peanut butter in my life. Every dog that I've ever met has liked peanut butter. And now let's add in our pumpkin. So just go slowly, add in a little bit at a time. You can see it's like a um, baby food consistency, right? So let's just add about half of the pumpkin that we have. And use our fork here, we'll mix it all around. Okay, so the consistency should look like this, kind of like cookie dough, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna form small little balls and we're going to cook this. Um, the oven is set at around 150 degrees Celsius. Again, take a look at Google if you don't know um, what that is in Fahrenheit, I certainly don't. And it's gonna be in there for about 25 to 30 minutes. You just wanna check on them and make sure that they've hardened. Um, and that's when you know that it's time to take them out. Okay, so I've lined a cooking sheet with just a little bit of like wax paper or parchment paper and made little balls and so this is gonna go in the oven right now and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so here is the final product. As you can see, they're actually really, really nice. So what I did is I took the cookie sheet out 20 minutes after they had processed and I had kind of flattened them down a little bit, put a pumpkin seed in the middle of each and popped them back in for another 10 minutes. Um, I checked them and it took an extra five minutes, so around 35 minutes for me, but it kind of depends on where you live. So um, I think they look really great and we're gonna try to give one to Aspen. So there's our treat right there. And there's our little girl. Ready for it? Okay, so you stay. Stay. Okay. So the two things that I just want to leave you guys with to remember is that pumpkin seeds, you should be getting it from pumpkins. Um, you shouldn't, or you can buy in bulk, I think, from like health food stores but don't buy the pumpkin seeds that are already pre-salted or have any other additives in them because that's not really gonna be all that great for your dog. The other thing is please do not use any pumpkins that you have that have rotted already. Um, that's pretty simple thing, just don't use any pumpkins that have rotted. If they haven't rotted, then it's perfectly fine to use the insides of the pumpkin for um, dog treats. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys and I hope that it gave you kind of some uses that you can use some of the pumpkin at least for in your dog. And I hope that you have a really great Halloween. It's tomorrow for me, so it's exciting. I'm gonna get prepared and have lots of trick-or-treaters and stuff like that. So I will see you guys very soon in another video. Take care, bye.